In today's funny story joke, prepare yourself for an uproarious tale of longevity, love, and laughter. This story will have you chuckling as we explore the hilarious secret behind an elderly couple's extraordinary health. Get ready for a joke that's not just funny, but a comedy masterpiece that promises to keep you giggling all the way through. Nestled amongst rolling green hills and babbling brooks lay the quaint village of Evergreen Creek. Here, time seemed to move at a gentler pace, the only hustle and bustle reserved for the occasional squirrels scampering for acorns. But amidst the serene meadows and cobbled streets resided a couple who defied all logic, William and Martha Buttercup. William, a spry 102-year-old with a shock of white hair that defied gravity, and Martha, a radiant 98 with a smile that could melt glaciers, were the talk of the town. Their secret? Not some miracle potion or a pact with a mischievous leprechaun. No, the source of their youthful vigor was a tale so hilariously eccentric it could make a grumpy badger chuckle. One sunny afternoon, a curious tourist named Harold wandered into Evergreen Creek. He'd heard whispers of the sprightly centenarians and was determined to unravel their secret. He found William chopping firewood, his shirt sculpted to an enviable physique by a lifetime of hard work. Beads of sweat glistened on his brow, but his movements were as smooth as a seasoned lumberjack half his age. Harold, a portly man with a penchant for pastries, approached William cautiously. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice your remarkable energy. Are you the guy they are talking about that is 102 years old? William, with a twinkle in his eye, chuckled. That's precisely the number, young fellow. That might be a bit of a stretch for you. Harold, momentarily stung but determined, continued. Wow, you look amazing. What's your secret? William, wiping his brow with the back of his hand, winked. Ah, well, that's a story for another time. Perhaps you'd like to help me carry this load inside. A bit heavy for these old bones, you see. Harold, eager to unlock the secret to eternal youth, or at least a slightly less winded climb to his third floor apartment, readily agreed. They hoisted the wood and headed towards a charming cottage nestled amongst blooming roses. Inside, William settled into a rocking chair, the worn leather creaking a gentle welcome. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the secret to my, shall we say, sprightly demeanor? Harold leaned forward, practically vibrating with anticipation. Yes, yes, please tell me. William chuckled again, a rich rumbling sound like distant thunder is. You see, young fellow, Martha and I have been married for 75 years. Now we have our disagreements like any couple, of course. But instead of sulking or shouting, we made a little pact. Harold, captivated, nodded eagerly. Every time we have an argument, William continued, a sly grin spreading across his face. The loser, the one who started the squabble, must run five kilometers. Harold's eyes widened. Five kilometers? Every time they argued? The man must be a marathon champion. But, William continued, noticing Harold's bewildered expression. Seeing as we have a fairly lively marriage, and I am usually the one starting the argument. William grinning. I've been running those five kilometers almost every single day for 75 years. But this funny story is not just over yet. Harold's jaw nearly hit the floor. No wonder William looked like he could wrestle a bear. But then, a niggling thought arose. But if that's the case... Harold stammered. How come your wife, Martha, is in such incredible shape too? William's smile widened into a mischievous grin. Well... He said, a mischievous glint in his eye. She usually runs after me with a rolling pin, hollering for me to pick up the pace and finish those five kilometers. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.